fetal malpresentation and fetal malposition plus indication for cesarean section okay what is malpresentation mean malpresentation mean any fetal presentation other than vertex if you look at this picture here this represent vertex presentation so any presentation other than vertex presentation is called mal presentation like a bridge presentation shoulder presentation face presentation and others while mal position mean a vertex presentation but other than occipit anterior so it's a vertex presentation but not occipit anterior your standard is occipit anterior this represent occipit anterior position because the occipit of the baby directed anteriorly look at this picture here this is the pelvis of the mother this is the symphysis pubis which located anteriorly and the sacrum which located posteriorly so here represent occipit anterior because the occipit of the head of the baby directed anteriorly other than this is called malposition like right occipit anterior left occipit anterior occipit transverse either right or left and also occipit posterior either oblique right left so all of them represent malposition and that's the meaning of malposition okay most common type of fetal malposition is occipit posterior okay it's a clear and direct information and most common type of fetal malpresentation is a breech presentation look at this picture this represents breech presentation either complete incomplete foot link frank breech and others type now let's talk about indications of cesarean section okay a general rule for amc exam any presentation other than vertex presentation is an indication for cesarean section for example Transverse lie mean cesarean section. Shoulder presentation mean cesarean section. Face presentation mean cesarean section. Cord presentation or cord prolapse mean cesarean section. And focus on these last two. I put them here in order to, you know, make you focus on them. Active general herpes needs cesarean section. And women infected with HIV mean cesarean section. Most common indication for caesarean section is a previous caesarean section. And most common cause of first caesarean section at the beginning is cephalopelvic disproportion. Women with a previous one caesarean section. What is the next step? Well, it depends on type of caesarean section. If the previous caesarean section is classical one, then the next step will be cesarean section. Never try normal vaginal delivery. Classical cesarean section, even one time, mean the remaining of all next delivery is normal vaginal delivery, not cesarean section. But if the first cesarean section was low segment cesarean section, then the next step, you can try normal vaginal delivery. But the best is cesarean section. But you can also try normal vaginal delivery considering that all the circumstances are good and there is no contraindication to normal vaginal delivery in this woman okay so that's all what you need to know about malpresentation and malposition of the fetus and also indication for cesarean section for full course you can contact us through imcqbook at gmail.com thanks and goodbye